Many of us really want to start up on YouTube. We want to become YouTube creators. We really have the passion for it. But because of one or two reasons, we feel restricted. And those reasons are you might be asking yourself, or rather saying to yourself, I do not have, I do not have the accessories for filming. I do not have the accessories for filming. You, you, you allow so many things to limit you or to, 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 to kill your passion, to kill your dream. So that's why I'm making this video. Because you, many people might not know this, but you can actually start up on YouTube just with your phone by recording your videos using your, your Android phone or your iPhone. It does not necessarily mean that you must have a, a, you must have a, 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 an advanced camera to do that. No, you can actually start up on YouTube. You can start uploading those videos. You can start making those videos with the use of your Android phone or your iPhone. But we are not going to be talking about how to how to how to film using your phone. If you want to see a tutorial on that, then you should let me know in the comment section. Today we are going to be looking at the best editing app for Android users as well as iPhone users. You, you might not probably know this, but to, to the, the, the journey of production, of filming, if you're true with your production, true with your filming, it must go through the process of editing. You must cut out your mistakes. If you want to add some filters to your video, you can do that. And you, you might not also know this, but many of your favorite YouTube creators do editing. They use some particular softwares or some Android apps, iPhone apps to edit. So if you're interested to find out about that particular app or the kind of apps you will use, then you should definitely keep watching this video. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. Yes guys, and the app I will be handling today or the best editing app for Android users as well as iPhone users is none other than InShot. InShot is an amazing app. The reason why I love this app particularly is because you know there are many many apps out there where you 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 really they are really good they function well but if you're doing your your editing after everything after your hard work you see that the 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 there will be watermark on your videos and that's crazy and if you want to remove them they'll ask you to upgrade to premium version before you do that but but in short has a premium version as well as a free version and i tell you the free version is is almost the same as the premium version i mean the app is 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 awesome it's awesome they have made everything available even if you're using the free version you will not feel left out you will not feel left out your videos will come out just fine after using in short so let's get right into the tutorial okay guys the first thing we have to do is to go over to our google play store for iphone users you can check it out at your app store but we'll be doing it and the, the the tutorial today will be doing it with an android phone so once you have opened your google play store you go over and search for in short you type in short and here we have it guys since i have already installed it once you if you 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 type for in short it's going to appear and if you you can press the download button to download it but since i have already downloaded it on my phone i'll just go ahead and open the app it's taking some time yes guys the app is about to be open so that we can start editing so this is it guys this is how the home screen looks like here we have the photo section if you want to you maybe you want to do a slideshow or or maybe you want to edit because it also has in short it is versatile i love the app because it is versatile you can use it to in to to to, to edit your pictures for your ins for instagram for facebook or for twitter and so since we'll be talking about video editing let's go and tap on the video icon yes guys so this these are the, the 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 videos i have edited using InShot because if you use InShot to edit your videos it will be stored it will be stored on the app as well as your 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 gallery so these these are the videos i have edited so to make it for you to have the clear view the clear understanding i'm sorry you will just need to tap on this new icon but for this draft, if for instance you have already done a video, edited a video using InShot and you were not really pleased with how the video was edited, you can, you, when you tap the, the video icon, it will take you to your draft videos as well as showing you the icon of uploading a new one and start editing. So let's upload a new video so that will show you the metrics. Okay guys, this, these are my various videos. I will just go and choose one 
one of them and there is this stream icon this is the trim icon where you can stream your video maybe you your video was too long you can drag it to trim it you can drag it to trim it this way or you can drag it to trim it this way so that your video will not be too long if you're not pleased with the length of your video and you want to reduce it so let's go into let's go and see the other functions if you have done the trimming then you can press this this icon that will automatically take you to the app itself so guys the first thing i want to show you is the canvas canvas is some other app you will see there it is canvas means the size how do you want the size to be is it a youtube video is, is it an instagram video is it a twitter video so let's go right into that so you can see the various the various apps and how the how your video will appear using the various apps so since we are doing a youtube tutorial we'll just tap this youtube icon youtube the length of youtube videos is 16 by 9 so let's tap on that okay the, my video is already in the youtube it is already in the youtube size it has the youtube size already so so what we would do is yes guys and for this other if you want to zoom your video you can take this icon like this you see that your video is so you can see that your video has been zoomed but if you want to leave it that way you can just go ahead and press ok this tick button I'm sorry for that yeah. so guys the next thing you will need to know when it comes to editing your video is music if for instance you want to add music to your video you will see the various effects these are music that insurance provides for you to add on your video and here we have my music it means that music your own music that are on your mobile phone and here we have effects like transition and all that you can choose any of them and include it in your video so once you are done and yeah and yeah let's not forget this this is the voice over icon you know there are many people who who will do videos they will not show themselves while talking so once you are you are doing the action you will be your people will hear your voice at the background so this is the that's the function if you tap it here you are going to start recording your voice you're going to start recording your voice so with that said and done let's go into the next the next editing software which is sticker yes guys you can see the various stickers that we have that insure has made available for us you can include any of them we have the, the, the some apps and how they work for instance let me test this youtube icon you can be talking to your to your audience and you yes, it adds more more flavor let me put it that way more beauty to your video it adds more beauty to your video and here we have the text section where you can add some text to your video yes if you tap it there you have the text section and here we have let me let me type good so if you you want to change maybe the color of the text or the font of the text you have to tap on this icon and you will see the various yeah as you can see guys the various colors you can change your text to your favorite color you can change it to your favorite color and you can add some background to your text and you can also change it to various colors so you can see that InShot is indeed a wonderful app is indeed a wonderful app so with that set and done let's go to the next phase which is filter yeah if you don't love the way your video is your 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 your, your video is appearing visually you will need to it InShot has made everything available for you you can change your your video to have to you can change your video into so many filters so that's it guys and here we have effect if you want to appear as if you want to to apply the mirror effect where you see you, you, you will effects that you can use to edit and omitted one more thing which is the adjust the adjust icon where you can add you we have you can add maybe increase the visual aspect of your video you can add more light you can add more contrast you can make it to be warmer you can also add some saturation there are a whole lot a whole lot 
a whole lot of things you can experiment on so with that set and done we go to the pre-cut aspect the pre-cut aspect yeah also this is a stream icon as i showed you the trim icon and here we have the cut to cut out your mistakes and and balance up your video and here we have the split option the split option you just split your video if you don't want it to be just one way you want to add some more some more some some you want to make it to appear to be more professional we have the split section so with that set and done let's go to the next phase next phase if you want to delete your video you can tap on the delete icon here we have the background if you want to change your background the background of your video you can see the background has changed very beautiful we can see the various colors the various various colors you can use you can see how beautiful it is how beautiful they all appear to be so with that set and done let's go into speed yeah this function is to increase you know there are some people that don't really want their video to apart from streaming they can see stream and realize that their video is still lengthy and they want to make it go a little bit faster to be shorter because if you increase your speed your video is automatically going to reduce so yeah let me say we increase it from this is a normal speed that's a normal speed that's a normal speed so let's increase it from 1.0 to 1 let me say 1 1.3 1.4 so you can see that the speed has increased and this other i this other section this way is to rather slow down the video the more and with that you will need to do some pre-coding and all that you can see that the video is undergoing you see the the, the speed has increased so, speed i just wanted to show you guys how you can do that and here we have the crop if you don't want some angles of your video to be seen or to be shown you can crop your video this way or this way or like this see just to if you want to show just your face and nothing else so you, when you're true you can just tap this tick icon you see, the other angles are not the other angles are no longer visible and here we have the volume if you want to increase the volume the volume level or you want to leave it the way it is the original volume level and that's it for that we have a whole lot of features guys we have a low, whole lot of features here is the duplicate if you want to make a video to appear twice here is a duplicate the duplicate option here you can make your this video to to be shown twice two times so with that set and done guys that we are going into the most interesting part but before we get there before we get there you can see this plus icon over here yes this plus icon what it is used for is to add some clips if for instance this is not the only clip you want to upload you want to add some more clips you can just go there either you want to add a photo you can tap on the photo section to add or if you want to add a video you can tap on that video and you automatically be added to the the previous video it will automatically be added to the previous video so guys let's get into the interest the most interesting interesting part as you can see over here there is an in-shot watermark 
on your video and that doesn't look professional but some other apps you will have to upgrade to the premium version in order to remove that watermark but in short in in short you can remove it for free totally free guys that is why i said at the beginning of this video that in short is an amazing editing software it is a i mean i call it a professional editor a professional editor so how can you get rid of this watermark because it doesn't make your video to look professional so what you do is to tap on that and you'll see either you're doing it you you want to remove it permanently removing it you will you see this 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 angle where they say remove permanently means you will never see it but the free version anytime you want to upload you see it then you can now remove it but here if you upgrade to the pro version you will remove it and you never see it anytime you edit your videos you'll never see it but it is still good it takes no time to remove it you press free remove and you can see there is no more an in short watermark on your video, your video is ready to be uploaded your video is ready to be uploaded or to be saved so once you are done with your editing and all that what you need to do is to press on this save icon you see you save yes guys you can choose the quality of the video you know the more quality the more the more space it is going to take so me i'll always i'll always save my video in the customize the customize with the customized quality so if you want to do that save it at the customized quality that is it and you tap okay and your video once you tap this icon your video is ready to be saved to so start initializing and this is the process of it being saved guys that's the process of it being saved okay guys thank you so much for watching that will be all for our intro tutorial thank you so much for watching and do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this and also to know the various metrics tips and tricks to grow your social media handles to grow your brand to grow your influence and in turn start monetizing them and do not forget guys to like this video give this video a thumbs up and also while you subscribe hit the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you are going to be notified about it so that will be all for today see you in my next video bye bye